high as I can kick. I think I should. All right, this one's from Mark with a K. Again? Late workouts for people. M A R C. Late workouts for tall guys. I would like to see a video about the best workouts for tall guys, as well as late night workouts and how to get the best out of them. I'm six foot three and have a very living life in school, acting classes, a full time job, as well as opening my own business so I don't get to go to the gym until 9, 10 at night and then up at 8. I know a lot of people that can't go to the gym too late and it would really help. It would be interesting to see how nutrition would play into it since I'm a post workout and it would not be until 11 p.m. or 12 a.m. That's it. Tall guys train the same as short guys. Same fucking thing. You just have longer limbs. This question has a lot of components to it. A late night workout for tall guys, but I feel like other than saying question. he was tall, nothing had to do with his height. No, no, I mean, My no, no. He said, "What's the? What about the best workouts for tall guys?" Right. Separate question. Every okay. fucking workout. I mean, there's no difference other than you have longer limbs. You should still squat. Obviously, your mechanics might be a bit different. Still deadlift. Still overhead press. Still bench press. Doesn't matter if I mean, dude. NFL linemen are six foot eight doing the big four. You know. Yeah. It's like, why does it even matter? You gotta find the workouts that are gonna work best with your lever arms. If you have, you know, longer femurs or whatever it might be, you just need to find the exercises that are gonna be most advantageous to you, that are gonna help avoid injury and build muscle. Working out late at night is pretty simple. Um, Pre-workout, if you, I mean, the half-life of caffeine is about five hours. Just take a non-stimulant. You got a non-stimulant, Nitro don't you? drive. Nitro drive from 360 yeah. cut is a perfect Perfect option for that. So take some non-stimulant. Yeah, it's okay. not a pump product. Just so you guys know, Nitro Drive is a fully dosed pre-workout just without stimulants. It's gonna have everything for focus. It's gonna have some energy components as far as endurance, um, you know, help reduce lactic acid buildup, things like that. It's phenomenal, but no stim, so you can take it late at night. Two scoops. And as far as training at night, you know, get your uh, pre-workout nutrition without the stims. Basically, take some Nitro Drive. Okay. Um, Intro workout, take some BCAA. You yeah. have one, you have a... Uh... We have a few, but I'd recommend the sport intro workout. It's your BCAA and your MCT. There you go. And then post-workout, I like to see some carbon weight. So I'm going to go carb 10 and MTS weight. We did that today. Yeah. Apple pie, MTS weight, people. He's Seriously? never tried it. He was, he was on, it was on another level. It was the American dream. Check my snap. And, and, and so, so post-workout, drink that shake. Go home, have your last meal, and go to bed. I mean, you can't go to the gym. I mean, you can't get a post-workout until 12, 11 or 12. But if that's your schedule, I mean, when I train late at night, which is sometimes, you know, I get my last meal in and I go to bed. Yeah. No difference. But I mean, as long as it's like 30, 40 minutes after your shake, which by the time you get home from the gym and shower, eat, go to bed, you're good. And also that meal before bed might help you sleep better because yeah. the influx of carbs will increase your serotonin and you're good to go. Yeah. So basically, there you go, man. Have fun training, being tall, train like everyone else. And, uh... Again, be sure to go uh, click on the link below, check out 360 Cuts, and uh, let us know what you think of it, or just buy some stuff. That'll let us know what you think. True. Yeah, there you go. All right, enjoy, brother. It's not a game.